Good day everyone. Today we're going to tackle about arithmetic series. This will be a two-part tutorial and this will be the part one. Let us first define what this arithmetic series is. Some, some of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence is called arithmetic series. Given an arithmetic sequence where a sub 1 is the first term and a sub n is the n term or the last term, the sum of the first n terms is given by this formula. S sub n is equal to n over 2 multiplied to the sum of a sub 1 and a sub n. Wherein a sub 1 is the first term, a sub n is the last term, n is the number of terms, and s sub n means the sum of the first n terms. Now let's consider example number 1. Find the sum of the first 25 terms of the arithmetic sequence 17, 22, 27, 32, and 37. So, they are asking us to find the sum of the first 25 terms. Since they are asking the first 25 terms, our last term will be a sub 25. So, this will be our last, this will be our last term. Now, considering the following formula, formula for the arithmetic sequence and the formula for the sum of the first n terms of the arithmetic sequence. Now let's write the given. Our given first is our a sub n or our last term which is a sub 25. We don't have the value of a sub 25 yet so that's why we'll put question mark on that. So a sub 1 is 17. Since that this is our arithmetic sequence, we will have a common difference of 5. So we can get that by subtracting 20, 17 from 22, 22 from 27, and 27 from 32, and so on and so forth. So we will get the common difference of 5. Now with this for, with this given, let's use let's try to answer first what is a sub 25 for, before we get the sum of the first 25 terms. For that, we will use this formula. We will just substitute the value that we have a sub 25 for a sub n, 17 for a sub 1, 25 for n, and 5 for d. Then we will evaluate the equation and we will get the value of 137 for our a sub 25. Now we have a value for our 25 terms and we can now solve the sum of the first 25 terms of this sequence. We will now use this formula. Again, just like a while ago, we just substitute all the given that we have, n for 25, 17 for a sub 1 and 137 for a sub n. So we have the following equation and we're going to evaluate it. So if it is if it has a bigger number, it is advisable to use calculator. So the sum of the first 25 terms is 1925 for this specific sequence. Example number two. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic sequence. 1, 5, 9, 13. Again, we need to find the uh, a sub 20 before we could answer this question. We will use again these two formulas. Now, for our given, we have a sub n will be our a sub 20, a sub 1 will be 1, n is 20, and the common difference is 4. Uh, again, if you want to know more about how to find the common difference, just watch my previous video on it. Now for solution, we will solve first for a sub 20. a sub 20 is essential for us to get the sum of the first 20 terms. If you have a question why it is a sub 20, because we are asked to find the, the first 20 terms. That's why it is a sub 20. So for our solution, let's use the formula of the arithmetic sequence. Let's substitute all the values that we have. Let's substitute all the value that we have. Then simplify it. After simplifying it, we'll get the value of 77 for our a sub 20. Now, we have now a sub 20 and we now have a sub 1. So we could now compute for the value of the sum of the first 20 terms of this sequence. So using the formula of the arithmetic series, we just substitute all the values that we have. After we substitute it, we just simplify it. And we will get the value of 780 as the sum of the first 20 terms. 
Example number 3. Find the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic sequence where a sub 1 is 9 and d is 7. Again, let's use the, the following formulas to answer this question. First is let's write the given and let's solve for a sub 10. Again, the last term is essential for us to know what is the sum of the first 10 terms. So let's write the formula. Let's substitute all the values that we have. Let's simplify everything that's inside the parentheses. Let's multiply 9 times 7, and let's add 9 plus 63. And we have 8 sub 10 for 72. We now have our first term and our last term. And now let's go to and find the answer for the sum of the first 10 terms. Again, let's write the, our arithmetic series formula. Substitute all the values that we have. Simplify, and we'll get the answer of 405 for, for this example. So therefore, the sum of the first 10 terms of an arithmetic sequence where a sub 1 is 9 and common difference is 7 is 405. Example number 4. Find the sum of the first 100 terms of the arithmetic sequence where a sub 1 is 5 and common difference is 5. Again, let's write the two formulas that we're going to, to, to use. And let's write all the given that we have. Again, with the, with the following given, our main purpose is to find a sub 100 so that we could find the sum of the first 100 terms. So let's substitute all the givens that we have. The 99 times 5 is 495 plus 5. And we get 500 for our a sub 100. Now let's we have a sub 1 and a sub 100. Now we, now we can find the sum of the first 100 terms. All we need to do is to substitute all the values to the formula of the arithmetic sequence, the arithmetic series formula, then simplify it. Then we're going to have a value, the answer of 25,200. Example number five. Find the sum of the first 50 terms of the arithmetic sequence if the first term is 21 and the 12th term is 154. In this problem, we don't have a value of the common difference because it is not given. The only thing that are given in this problem is a sub 20 and a sub 1. Now let's consider a sub 20 and let's find a and let's find the common difference. Again, let's solve for D for the common difference. Let's write the formula, the arithmetic sequence formula. Then substitute all the values that we have. Again, in this part, we will consider a sub 20 to be our last term. So 20 minus 1 multiplied by D is 19D. Then let's subtract. 21 on both sides, and we get 133 equals to 19D. Our main purpose here is to isolate isolate D so that so that we can so so that we could get the value of D in here. Now we have this equation. All we need to do is divide both sides by 19 to single out D. So 133 divided by 19 is 7. So therefore, the common difference is equal to 7. This is not the answer yet, for we are asked to find the sum of the first 50 terms. Now let's proceed to another page with the same exam with the same question, having different given by now. By now we know that our common difference is seven, and we will now use a sub 50 as our last term. We need to find a sub 50 in order for us to answer this question. So let's use the arithmetic sequence formula. Substitute all the values, 50 minus 1, then 49 times 7, then 343 plus 21 is 364. So therefore, the value of our 50th term is 364. We now have a sub 1 and a sub 50. Now let's use the arithmetic series formula to find the sum of the first 50 terms. Just substitute all the values that we have, 54n. 
and 21 for a sub 1 and 364 for the last term which is a sub 50. so we just evaluate the formula and we get the answer of 9625 for the sum of the first 50 terms example number six find the sum of the first 18 terms of the arithmetic sequence whose general term is a sub n is equal to 15 plus 8n uh, it seems difficult but it is the most easiest question among the problems that we tackle today all we need to do is to is to compute for a sub 1 and a sub 18 for we are asked to find the sum of the first 18 terms we need the first term and the last term now for the first term we just use the formula and substitute 1 to the value of n so that we could get our first term which is 23 same as with, with solving for the 18th term. We just use the formula for the general term and substitute 18 to n. And we'll get the value of 159 for the last term. Now, for the last one, we will use the arithmetic series formula to solve for the value of the fifth, for the sum of the first 50 terms. And that is 1,658. Now we are done with some problems involving arithmetic series. Now it's your turn to answer this question. This will be the part one and more problems will be discussed on our part two. So stay tuned and that's all for today. Again, I will post this and try to answer this on your own. That's all for today. Goodbye and thank you.